Hello, my name is Rodney and I'm going to give a presentation on the history and the Australian curriculum today. I'm in Wakeree. Wakeree is a small community of 700 people and is located in the Riverland on the Murray River. Its primary industries are grapes and oranges and these two industries have been devastated in recent years due to various factors, some of which are uh, globalisation, economic rationalisations, cheap imports, the prior drought, and also the debate between Victoria and New South Wales and the Murray River water supply and its flow and effect to South Australia. Now despite these factors, the local people here are very resilient, very proud and very strong. Now these three factors will become more important later in my discussion. I'm actually at Wakery Primary School. A Wakery Primary School has a population of 260 students, 33% of those are eligible for the school card, 6% are from non-English speaking backgrounds, 3% identify as coming from an Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander background, and just over 4% have been verified as having a learning disability. So my particular class is a Year 1-2 class, and those figures are also represented within my class, and so there is a great wealth of knowledge and experience that the students bring to the class, and it's very exciting in the context of history. I'm just going to move to Wakery Primary School right now, As you can see, it's Wakery Primary School's centenary this year, and we're putting on a performance in August for, for the community and also for the school. And it's a celebration of, of 100 years, but not just of the school, but of the community, their resilience, their strength and their courage throughout these difficult times, and to celebrate their achievements as well. So it's a highly significant event for the people of Wakery. And the performance that the Year 1 and 2 students will be doing at the, the centenary will be called The River Song. And The River Song was written by a local author and a local musician. And I believe he was an, also an English teacher at the high school. And it consists of four songs and a nar narrative portion of the, the performance. And so The River Song is essentially about settlement here in Wakeree and the development of industry and communities here. It's predominantly about um, European settlement and and life that was led in those days and the struggles they went through to establish their communities here. So it's also indicative of, of the celebration of the current community and the struggles they face, which are similar to those faced in the earlier, earlier times. So in keeping in line with um, the River Song, which is predominantly about the Murray River, uh, the theme for this historical investigation and historical inquiry will be actually the river and in the context of the river and the water supply to the region, which is important for many reasons, farming and also for, for personal use. So the actual resource that will be used for, for a lesson in, in the context of the history will be actually a, a decommissioned water pump, which is down maybe about one kilometer from school, and it will involve the excursion to the water pump, uh, a walk, and then a walk to the river, and then maybe some, something to eat, and then a walk back to school. And so, let's go to the water pump right now, and we'll have a look at what it actually is. And here we have the decommissioned water pump that sits in the centre of Waikere. It's newly installed, so a lot of people haven't seen it yet, and the people who have sort of driven past sort of don't really pay much attention to it. So, even though it's quite an amazing piece of machinery and quite an old piece of machinery it doesn't seem to be taken much notice of so it actually provide an excellent opportunity for the students to do some inquiry based investigation into how Wakery developed a water supply for its industry and so as you can see it, this, this single pump supplied 40% of the water to the district 4,000 irrigated acres it, between 1927 and 1965. So it's actually quite a good piece of equipment to use as an artifact for learning. So the inquiry based question may be something along the lines of how did how did the early early people of Wakery water their farms. 
when there was no actual water supply here to begin with. And one of the reasons why I selected this is particularly because of the boys in the class who seem to be often disengaged from learning. Something I'm going to use as an artifact for historical learning in term two for the year one and two class. Now for it's quite relevant to the Australian curriculum as well because if we look at uh, year ones as past and present family life they can students can start examining for example what it would have been like with water and a lack of water supply like a lack, lack of pressurized water in those days uh, prior to the pump installation you know how, how did families exist back then and how do they exist now in terms of the content of water and in particular relevance to the to the riverland is water and also with um, year twos we're looking at uh, the past and the present so we're looking at artifacts uh, which is a significant piece of technology that's changed over time there is also uh, another water pump and it's a modernized water pump down at the river which we can also look at on another day to compare the two different technologies and so that was my resource and that's how I'm going to connect the, the school centenary with the river song and with with the Waikari region in general. So we're going to be looking at water and the impacts of water on this community. And this particular resource is the water pump that was uh, decommissioned in 1965 and replaced by a mo modernised one. So thank you for listening and I'll leave you with a slideshow of oranges from the Riverland. Thank you very much.